Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see how to use MyBiotis into a Spring Boot application. So, as you guys know, Spring Boot doesn't support MyBiotis out of the box, but uh, MyBiotis has created a starter uh, which is compatible with the Spring Boot application. So, we are, that's what we are going to see here. So, before going into uh, the hands on video, so what is MyBiotis, right? So, MyBiotis is similar to JPA. So, if you know about Java Persistence API, it is something similar to that, but it is not using the JPA standards. So if you know about Spring JPA, so it uses the Java Persistence API, but MyBatis uh, doesn't use that. So uh, Spring JPA uses Hibernate and then you use Hibernate as an ORM framework, right? But MyBatis is something similar, uh, but it is very lightweight. So it is not like Hibernate, but it is very lightweight. Uh, it uses the concept of mappers. So you can create uh, something similar to how we used to create in the um, Spring JPA, which you have seen already. Uh, it is something similar but it is slightly different but it is faster than uh, Hibernate okay so that is what we are going to see in this particular video so let's go ahead and create the project so I'm going to use this spring initializer as you guys know uh, I often use spring initializer to create the project so I'm going to create uh, a project here so I'm going to say com tech primers mm, what can be the I'll say my patterns and I'll name the project as uh, Spring Boot My Batters. Okay. So the dependencies which I need is I am going to go expose this as a REST endpoint. So I'm just going to create Spring Web Project. Okay. The next one would be I need a MySQL uh, JDBC driver. So I'm just uh, I'm I'm going to connect to a MySQL database which is running in my laptop. So I'm going to uh, connect to that particular database using my batters and finally we made my batters okay so we need web we need mysql and we my we need my batters that's it so let me download this project okay so let it download to my downloads folder and then i'm gonna unzip it once it is unzipped i think it is unzipped right yeah it is unzipped let me open it with intellij open so I'm gonna say download spring, spring boot my batters right so that is what we created now so I've triggered the open let it open so if you guys are uh, not familiar with spring boot uh, you can check my other videos on spring boot or uh, what is spring boot and stuff like that and this video is going to be uh, strictly for the my batters inside the spring boot application so if you are aware about spring boot then you will be able to understand um, or just check the other videos which i have created so what i'm going to do is uh, for my batters if you go to the pom i'll show you what are all the dependencies which got added so the major dependency is this so if you notice here this is created by my batters so or my batters spring boot so my batters has created a starter and it is using one dot sorry so it is using 1.3 version of my batters okay and then we are using the spring boot starter web uh, for creating a rest endpoint and also we are using the mysql connector which is already by default coming in as a part of the uh, spring boot framework okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a i'm going to start by creating from the rest endpoint uh, so i'll just create a resource then we'll see how to create how to connect to the database so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create some rest endpoint called users so i have a table called users okay so i'm going to create a java file I'm going to create a Java class called users resource. Okay, I'm just going to create quickly the REST controller request mapping REST slash users and I'm going to create some REST endpoint. Okay, this is going to return me list of users. So I need to create this users. Let's say get all. Okay, so this is going to return me for now. I'll just make it as let's let it be. Okay, I'm going to create this particular user. So I'm going to create it under the folder called model because it's going to be a model, right? So inside users, I need to have. So let's see the schema, right? So this is the MySQL database which I have, and the schema is having ID, name, and salary. And if you notice here, there are two rows already. So I need to connect to this particular database. I need to update this database and I am going to retrieve the data from the database. So what I what we are going to see here in this particular example is we are going to see how to run the select query and the insert query in the uh, MySQL database using MyPatterns. 
from a Spring Boot application. Okay, so we have a string name, we have long salary, and we have an ID, right? Integer ID. So these are the different fields which are there. So I'm going to quickly create the getters and setters. Okay, so I have created a simple POJO. So basically, this is the POJO which we are going to use to retrieve the data. So now the major part comes into picture. So we need to create something called as mappers. So my bad is works on the principle of mappers. So in JPA you would have seen repositories, but in uh, my bad is we have to create mappers. So I'm going to say users mapper. Okay, I'm going to create this mapper and I need to annotate it with the mapper. Okay, so this will uh, tell Spring Boot uh, or my bad is that okay, this is going to be a my bad is class. Okay. So in order to enable that, so what we need to do here is we need to add mapper scan. Okay. So in fact, uh, if you add the add mapper, it shouldn't, it should be working, but I'll uh, just add it, right? So tech primers dot my batters dot, what is the package name? Why is it so big? Okay. Spring boot my batters. This is the package. And then we have a mapper. So I'm just going to give this mapper. And also we have created the model. Uh, we need to tell the model as well to the map uh, to the my batter. So I'm going to say mapped types. So that is the type which we are going to map, right? So I'm going, I'm going to give the users dot class. Okay. So that is what we need to do. So this is the configuration which is required for my batter to function. So we need to give the mapper uh, classes the mapper uh, classes. Basically, they, basically this is an interface. So uh, just make it interface so it's going to be an interface uh, we need to give that to the mapper scan and same way the mapped type so what is the uh, class which got mapped to that particular mapper so you can give a list as well there okay uh, or what we can do is you can go to the application properties and then you can add a uh, configuration here uh, saying my batters dot um, mapped type location basically uh, type map location so there are some configs there if you want to use configs you can use the configs but I'm going to use annotations here that's what I have done here so let's go to the interface here uh, so what we need is we need to go to the user resource now we need to auto wire these uh, auto wire this particular interface right so I'm going to create that interface okay so I'm going to create a constructor. So this is going to do auto wiring. So if you see the latest spring version, uh, spring from spring four, uh, this auto wires the user's instance. So when you have a constructor, it gets auto wired automatically. So now what we need to do is we need to use this mapper and then find all the records, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this particular method here and you can annotate it with the query which we require. So I'm going to do select annotation okay because i'm going to run a select query so i'm going to say select star from users so users is my table name if you go to the mysql database so users is my table name and i'm going to run the same query which i need so this is what i'm doing here so let's quickly i think that's what right that that's it uh, let's go to the uh, application properties we need some properties so i'll just say i'm going to start it with 1991 or let's say 1995 okay and we need to add some mysql properties okay so jp related properties these are not required so these properties are required to connect to the mysql database so basically i am saying spring that okay use this particular uh, url to connect to the data source and these are the username and password and these are just the properties so this is just the uh, prerequisite for connecting to the mysql database so that is what i have added here nothing else so that's all we require so we have added the mapper scan for the mapper which we created here for my batteries and also we have added the mapped type which is called the users here okay that is what is required so we are just doing a simple select query if you notice here we have not done anything we have not annotated anything here uh, we just created the query here and this is going to map automatically to this particular users so let's see if it works uh, let's start this So if you have worked on JPA, you can see that it is almost similar to JPA, but um, you have to write queries in the uh, my batters. So in JPA, you don't have to create a queries. Uh, Hibernate creates it automatically on the fly, but uh, in my batters, you have to create the query on your own. 
that is why if you notice uh, my bat is faster than hibernate okay it is very lightweight okay our server is up under the port 9090 let's go to the browser and then hit the url localhost 90 1995 slash res slash user slash all that is the rest endpoint which we created right so this should now return two records so if you notice here this is what is there in the database okay it has written correctly okay so that basically means our rest endpoint is working all right so our rest endpoint whatever we created here is working so let's create one more rest endpoint so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say update and i'm going to insert some record as a part of this so basically i'll return the same list of users i'll just say update okay finally anyway i need to return dot find all however we need to update right so what is the method we need so we need to create users first so we need to do you know users right and, and in the users i need to set the name and the salary so name i will be setting it as uh, youtube i'll set the salary as 233 or something okay i'll set this and now we need to pass this to the users mapper so i'm going to say insert user and i'm going to pass the user uh, i don't need the user let me make it as insert users okay that's it now we need to create this particular method so let's go to the interface i have already created some template so if you notice here uh, it has created so what we're doing here is let me okay let me maximize it so what we are doing here is we are creating an annotation called at insert so my batters knows that okay this query is specifically an insert query okay and we can write the query directly here so that's it okay apart from that what we had is we had a id right and this id is going to be generated automatically so i didn't want the java class to create it so what i have done is i have created an annotation called select key you can create a key so basically you can run some queries here to generate the key so that is what we are doing here so uh, mysql has a, a last insert id so you can get the id which got inserted previously and then we can use it right so that is what uh, we are going to do here so this annotation is going to uh, retrieve an I unique id for us and then it is going to map it into the id value so into the id column basically into the same users table into the id column it is going to create a new id okay this is how we auto generate values inside uh, my batters mappers okay and it, this is going to be an integer that is why we are saying resultant type is integer that's it so this is uh, we are just passing a users object the name and the salary will be mapped here into this query if you see here it gets translated into here so this is how we have to define the um, values inside the mapper so you have to say hash and then enclose it within the curly brackets okay that's it so we need to call this right so where is it? yeah we have called already right so that is it so we are uh, doing an insert and then that is going to insert it uh, this is going to insert into the table so let's see if it works uh, let me restart the server okay we need to trigger the update so let me keep it ready let me try if the, ser the server is down right now so it will not return me anything anyway so let the server come up so when we trigger the update uh, rest endpoint it is going to add a youtube username and salary as 2366 23 whatever right so that is what is going to happen so let's see if it works all right okay the server is up now let's refresh it so once i refresh it is going to add a new uh, username if you notice here it has added and then it has retrieved as well so because we added it and then we retrieved it if i re trigger again it is going to add one more value <coughs> right and it is going to increment the id value right so if i query into the database if i query in the database you should see the same thing yeah see that right so whatever we inserted right now got inserted into the mysql database and that is what we see here in the rest endpoint as well 
okay so i'll repeat what we did as a part of the uh, my batch uh, configuration so what we need to do is we need to create a mapper okay we need to create a interface called mapper and that uh, mapper needs to be uh, annotated with add mapper uh, if you don't want to do a scan you can do that so or else you can do a add mapper scan and then provide the uh, package name where all the mappers are present and then we need to add another annotation uh, for the mapped type uh, where you can pass a list of uh, classes which are mapped so you can pass a list of classes here right now we have only one class but you can pass uh, many classes here okay so this is required for the configuration of my batches. so once the configuration is done we can go ahead and create the queries here so for example if you need to find all i'm just adding a select query and then i'm uh, doing a star from users if you need to query any specific user what you can do is you can say where uh, name equal to and then we can put this so we can do this and here you have to say path param and then you say name and then you say final string name okay so that is how you do it so this is another way of uh, parsing stuff so I am not going to do that but uh, yeah I, we just uh, were querying everything but you can do that so it is similar to how we do the insert here so that is what we did in the insert so the next one is the insert so as a part of insert we had to uh, generate some unique identification so in MySQL the command to create um, uh, to retrieve the ID is uh, select last insert ID so it gets the ID which is unique every time so it increments the ID okay and that ID value is mapped to the ID column inside this users table so that is what we are doing here and it is going to be an integer so we have a result type mentioned as integer here okay and the argument which we pass to this particular method is the users okay and that users um, has the name salary and ID and that is all that is how my betters knows that okay Th these are the value names that are there so if you do something uh, wrong here my betters will complain you as well okay so that is how you create the insert query so now you can directly access that from the place where you want to call so for example here we have auto wired you have to auto wire the users mapper or else the implementation will never get created so when you do the auto wiring my batters creates those uh, implementations so here we are doing the auto wiring using constructor injection so that is how the user maps uh, mappers are getting loaded so we just say find all and it goes and uh, does a select query on the users table and then retrieves all the users list okay so that is what is going to happen here same way if it is an insert it is going to insert the name and the salary into the users table okay so that is how you configure uh, uh, my batters uh, framework into a spring boot application okay so apart from that i had some application properties here so that is it uh, specific for the mysql so that is it mm. I think that's what I wanted to cover as a part of this particular video. If you want me to make any complex uh, uh, video on my batters, let me know in the comment section below. I can uh, do that. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. So if you want uh, me to make a talk, uh, make any video on any specific topic apart from uh, my batters, go ahead and put that in the comment section below. I'll uh, take a look at it and then I'll try that and then let you guys know. So that's it for this video. I'll meet you again in the next video. Thank you.